you might think that the discovery of cool trinkets and odd treasures is the sort of thing that only happened in the past, but you would be wrong. Its cool discoveries are being made all the time, which includes modern times. These are the 20 strangest objects recently discovered. Number 20. German Artifacts in Argentina the history of World War II is likely very well known to you. It was a fight for the freedom of the world, and especially Europe and Asia, that put the Axis powers versus the Allies. The fight lasted for years, but then in 1945, the Allies were able to get victory on both fronts. This is where history gets a little murky, though, because there are some who have said that many within the German forces escaped to various places to try and regroup and go have a go at it all over again. Some even said that Adolf Hitler was was amongst this group in certain conspiracy theories, and many of those are false, but one that is true is the one about Germans fleeing the country when the war became a losing effort and they headed into the jungles of Argentina. Fast forward to 2017, and a raid by Argentinian police would lead to a massive horde of artifacts being discovered behind a secret door. It's all very secret squirrel. Amongst the cache were guns, apparel, ceremonial knives, military decorations, statues of Hitler, and other other Nazi symbols, trinket boxes adorned with the Nazi Imperial Eagle, a Nazi sundial, and even a silver Ouija board. Now, if you didn't know, Hitler was very big into the occult, which led to many other conspiracy theories. The reason that this is so strange is the simple fact that the police were not sure how these artifacts entered into the country, and if you look on a map, Germany is a long way from Argentina, and it's a long way to flee just to evade capture. Granted, it clearly worked, as the artifacts were there, but it raised just as many questions as it did eyebrows when they were discovered. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the sweet topic. When archaeologists dug up this item, they were truly baffled, because it looks like some kind of ancient iPhone. Even more curiously, it even has a name on it. Natasha. Closer inspection would reveal that this was actually just a rather snazzy belt buckle. Experts think it's probably from as far back as 2,000 years ago, and I've got to say, for a piece of very old-fashioned, it's actually kind of cool. As always, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below using the hashtag sweet topic. Number 19. The Rise of Aten. Now, despite what the name might imply, Aten is not a person, but rather a city that I'm going to discuss, and for a very basic reason. It literally rose from the sands of Egypt from which it had been buried. Egyptian history is something that just about everyone agrees is fascinating, and there are so many layers to it that there's always something new and exciting to find. Fast forward to 2021, and a group of archaeologists would find the largest ancient city ever discovered in Egypt that dated back 3,000 years. That's right, an ancient city buried in the sand that dated back a millennia, and it's only just been discovered, proving just how much that everyone still has to do in the world in order to unlock all of its mysteries. Now, the strange part for some of you might be the fact that this was a city that was buried in the sand. How could that even be possible? Surely the sand could couldn't have risen up that high. Well, you need to remember a few things, not the least of which is that Egypt is a desert nation. As one genie once said, sand, it's everywhere, get used to it. And despite what some people would hope for, the sand doesn't stay in one place. It gradually gets pushed around by the wind, and if it's in enough amounts, it can bury just about anything. Another factor here is that the people of certain areas would have to maintain their areas to ensure that their homes didn't get consumed by sand. In the deep dive into the city, they found that it had been abandoned, but for what reasons, no one can say. So that means that the rise of Aten was left to nature whims, and as a result, it was buried, and is still mostly buried by sand even today. Number 18. Hybrid Cave Art there are many artifacts of the past that many consider some of the most important things that you can find. Sure, there can be a pot of an ancient civilization, and that's important, but it's not as important as other things. 
Such as what, you may ask? Well, cave art is an all-time classic find that multiple civilizations did. These artistic pieces are an insight into their cultures, beliefs, and their histories. So when, in 2019, the oldest cave art piece ever would be found in Indonesia, it made a lot of people curious as to what was on it. The answer was a group of figures that represent half-animal, half-human hybrids, and these things are hunting warty pigs and dwarf buffaloes. So yeah, it's a little bit odd, because you would think that something like this would depict their own tribe, not some kind of supernatural beings, and yet there they are. However, in a journal study that was published not long afterwards, the reasoning behind this might have been human cognition and the birth of certain religious beliefs. One of the most fascinating aspects of the research was humanity's oldest cave art was at least 44,000 years old and already had all of the key components that related to modern cognition, like hand stencils, figurative art, storytelling, and religious thinking. Now, it would be interesting because it does have ties to the origins of supernatural beliefs in certain religions and could help to paint the way to a path where we are now with modern religions today. So as in all things, something might be strange, but it might also have some great context. Number 17. Chinese Golden Mask now, we'll go back to last year where a 3,000-year-old golden mask would be discovered by archaeologists in southwest China. These finds were discovered in an archaeological site that has yielded thousands of ancient artifacts ever since a local farmer stumbled across it in the 1920s, which in and of itself is strange because you wouldn't expect a farmland like this to have such a plethora of artifacts. But as history has shown, you don't always know what was on your plot of land hundreds or even thousands of years ago. So anything is possible, which includes finding a golden mask in the dirt. The belief, according to experts, is that the mask wasn't meant to be a standalone piece, but rather something that was put onto a bronze statue. It's also thought to hail from the Shang Dynasty, which came to an end in 1046 BC. Now, there was a wealth of artifacts that were discovered on the spot. In 2021, within a few months span, 500 artifacts would be discovered. Ivory relics were amongst the discoveries, as was a jade knife, a ceremonial vessel, and several bronze figurines. So it does go to reason that there was a place of significance within the dynasty upon that particular piece of land at one time. However, there's another explanation for what's going on, and it may not be what you think. Many of the objects appear to have been ritually burned before being buried, leading experts to believe that the pits were used for sacrificial purposes. Number 16. Blue Beads a key part of archaeological discovery is that of lining up where certain events have happened and how they affect history as a whole, such as when a certain group of people made landfall in a nation that can now get a name. For North America, people have often been fascinated by the question of who really landed there from Europe or beyond first. We know the people of the First Nations lived in places like the United States, Canada, and Mexico, but what about when other races and nations came in? You would think that it was someone like Christopher Columbus, but he never hit the mainland. The fascinating part is that the answer might come from something rather small that was found last year, that being blue beads. The beads, about the size of a blueberry, were made in Venice, Italy, and found by archaeologists who were working at three locations in northern Alaska. Their age would indicate that they made it to North America decades before Christopher Columbus even dared to go across the ocean blue. They were able to date the beads back thanks to some organic matter that was on them, and they traced back to Italy in the 1400s. Needless to say, the team was surprised. Now, after further study, the archaeologists think that the beads arrived in Alaska Alaska between 1440 and 1480, but how did they get to the New World? Well, it's believed that they went from Italy to China and then on to Russia and into Alaska. Though obviously that's just speculation, but what's not speculation is that these beads showcase that the old world met the new world a lot earlier than anyone may have thought. And that changes a lot in terms of history. Number 15. Dead Sea Scrolls Fragments 
Now you'll notice that a lot of these finds so far have been from 2021. The original Dead Sea Scrolls, however, are one of the most important archaeological finds in history, and they're remnants of one of the oldest Christian Bibles and detail the stories of their beliefs in multiple languages, depending on which scroll you look at. They've been prominently displayed all over, and yet we're still finding fragments of the scrolls, which include some that were discovered last year. The fragments are the first pieces of the Dead Sea Scrolls that have been found in around 60 years, and they were recovered from a cave where Jewish rebels against the Roman Empire hid 1900 years ago, which would easily explain why nobody had found these particular fragments until now. The Jewish people hid them so that they wouldn't be discovered. Another reason that it's a good thing that these scrolls have been found is that ever since their first discovery, looters have come to the area to try and discover fragments for themselves and make a pretty penny off of them rather than preserve them for historical context. Sadly, this is a reality of the archaeological world that we live in. And if you're wondering why these scroll fragments and other scrolls themselves were able to be read, given they were potentially thousands of years old, that would be because of the arid conditions that they were found in. It's hard to dry out and fade away when you're already in dry conditions. The fragments are an impressive find, and by their discovery, it proves that there are likely many more or even entire scrolls that are yet to be discovered. Number 14. Knife-Wielding Spider God Yes, that is a real phrase. I actually did just say it, and it will make sense in a moment. Archaeologists in Peru identified what they say is a 3,200-year-old mural of a knife-wielding spider god, believe it or not. And guess what? It was found in 2021. The mural was discovered on the side of an ancient adobe temple, which experts believe was built by the pre-Columbian people in Peru's Viru province, roughly 300 miles north of Lima. Based on its location, experts believe that it might have been a tribute to one of their water gods. They say the spider on the shrine is associated with water and was an incredibly important animal in pre-Hispanic cultures, which lived according to a ceremonial calendar. Archaeologists were incredibly lucky to find this mural as farmers were working in that area and destroyed half of the site on accident before realizing what was there. Now the place has been registered and will be protected so that research can be done to it. Speaking for myself, I'm still trying to figure out why their spider god needed a knife. Because spider gods usually wouldn't be the kind to need such an armament, and yet there it is. It's true, it could just be suggesting that it's a knife, but why say that if you don't actually think it's a knife? Spiders are already terribly terrifying. They don't need knives to make us fear them more. Number 13. Roman Emperor Marblehead now, we're going back to the Roman Empire because a 2,000-year-old marble head of Augustus, Rome's first emperor, was discovered in an Italian town in the south-central region of Molise. Now, technically, it could have been found sooner had the timing gone its way because that region had weather issues that led to a major wall collapsing in 2013. It would be during restoration work for the wall that archaeologist Francesco Giancola discovered the head, and by his own account, he didn't expect to make such a find. He just happened to notice that something was different in the dirt below. While they were digging behind the wall, they saw that the earth had changed color, and upon further digging, they realized that it was a marble statue head. They immediately saw that it was a head and recognized it as belonging to a statue of Augustus due to the hair and the shape and cut of the eyes. In terms of its creation, most would date it back to between 20 BC and 10 AD, but that's where the strange part comes in, because no one really knows why it was in that Italian town to begin with. Some think that there may have been a temple there, or even a cult that was dedicated to Augustus. Based on the dimensions of the head, the statue is a part of what's believed to have been over six feet tall, and after the marble head would be found, more excavations occurred and even more discoveries were made. Number 12. The Non-Binary Warrior in 1968, excavators uncovered a nearly 1,000-year-old grave in Finland that was thought to have been occupied by a warrior woman, given the presence of both jewelry and a pristine sword in the grave. That alone would have been a major find, given who was there, the ornaments that she adorned, and so on. But now, thanks to a new recent theory, this person might not have been a woman, but rather actually non-binary. 
Obviously, you can't immediately tell that, nor would any remaining DNA be able to distinguish it, so how is it that they feel that this person was so? Well, it turns out that the burial had an unusual and strong mixture of feminine and masculine symbolism, and it might indicate that the individual was not strictly associated with either gender, but instead something else. An interesting theory, and as they elaborated on it more, they would go on to say that it would imply that during the warrior's period in Europe, non-binary people were were treated with great respect. Whether this theory is true or not is not clear, but it does paint an interesting picture of the ancient world. Number 11. Van Gogh Insect Vincent van Gogh is one of the most important painters of history. He wasn't the most mentally stable man, as he did take his life in the end, but the way that he was able to convey it in his paintings is legendary. One of the stranger things that happened with van Gogh, though, is that he loved to paint outside, and he had company every time that he was there. In a letter that he wrote in 1885 to his brother Theo, he remarked that he must have picked up a good hundred flies or more off of the four canvases that he was sending to him, not to mention the dust and the sand. That's right, bugs got into a lot of his paintings, so much so that it was discovered in 2017 that Van Gogh had accidentally painted over literal grasshoppers in one of his olive tree paintings. It's been there for who knows how long, and yet it was only just discovered. Number 10. Sun Temple This time around, this find was one of Egypt's lost sun temples that dated from the mid-25th century BCE. But here's where the twist is. Unlike the last Egyptian find, it wasn't buried beneath the sand, rather it was underneath of another temple. That's right, one temple was built on top of the remains of another. There's more to this than anyone realizes, which includes how the temple was on top, and it was found in 1898 to great acclaim. However, now it's known that the team who found the one temple didn't actually go far enough into the sands to figure out the full truth that there was another temple right below. The new finds include seals that are engraved with the names of kings, which were once used as jar stoppers, as well as the bases of two limestone columns, which were part of an entrance portico and a limestone threshold. Now, believe it or not, there are allegedly even more sun temples out there in Egypt that are still yet to be found. These were part of the cult of Ra before a certain Egyptian pharaoh proclaimed themselves the only son of the sun god and thus the temples were used to defy him. You have to wonder how well that worked out for it. Number 9. Chilean Dinosaur a new species of dinosaur would recently be unearthed. That alone isn't too strange, as we don't really know all of the dinosaurs of history just yet. However, it was odd that this species had an armored tail that no one had ever seen before. <laughs> Roughly two meters in size, the small armored dinosaur came from the late Crustaceous period around 71.7 million to 74.9 million years ago, allegedly. The dinosaur's tail had seven pairs of flattened bony deposits that were fused together in a frond-like structure. No one's quite sure why this dino had that kind of tail, as it's more related to other creatures of the time rather than certain other dinosaurs. Number eight. To my one of the biggest mysteries out there is that of when the first humanoid species came to be. There's a lot of speculation as to when that happened, but it's never been fully fleshed out. If we go back to 2002, archaeologists at the time claimed that they had found the earliest hominid skull in a region of Chad. Their claim continued on when they said that it was 7 million years old, which is far beyond when most people say that the hominids were around by any stretch. To that end, the skull, known as Tumai, has been controversial as some believe that it's only a primate skull. This strange find gets even more strange in that 20 years later, nobody still knows the truth. No other fossils have ever been found to help the theory, and thus it's still just that, a theory. Number 7. Female Spanish Rulers 
A burial site found in Spain, described by archaeologists as one of the most lavish Bronze Age graves discovered to date in Europe, got a lot of people talking. Because since 2013, that site has been under heavy study, and one of the things that they feel they discovered was that rulers of an advanced society that lasted until 1550 were partially ran by females. But why do they say that? Well, in a ceremonial jar, they found the remains of a man and a woman. But the the woman was adorned in all sorts of silver. Other burial sites found led the archaeologists to believe that any place a woman was buried was a place of high status. If that is true, then women really did run the world, or at least on the Iberian Peninsula. Number 6. Colonial Currency the currency of the United States has grown immensely over the years and is now in a familiar state. But back in 1692, some people thought that it would be a good idea to create their own currency, which included a silver coin that was minted in Boston and sold at auction last year for over $350,000. Just as unbelievable is that the coin that was found was in a candy tin within a family's estate, an estate that belonged to New England settler William Wentworth, whose descendants were the ones who found the coin after going through his things. Needless to say, they were shocked, and the money they got was likely even more shocking. Number 5. Ancient Swordfish in terms of fossils, one of the things that no one will ever be able to truly grasp is the amount of ocean life that once existed. The oceans are simply just too big, and species within it died within those waters so long ago that finding all the fossils would be impossible. However, in 2021, a newly discovered marine dinosaur species with gnarly teeth was found in Colombia. The ancient species resembled a swordfish and has been gone for a very long time. The meter-long skull dates back to a 130 to 115 million years ago during the Cretaceous period, allegedly. The species was said to have died out due to one of the main extinction level events that happened during those times. The species was said to have larger and more spaced out teeth in order to grasp larger prey, which is a stark contrast from the rest of its kind. Number 4. A Peruvian Mummy a mummy estimated to be between 800 to 1200 years old would be unearthed by archaeologists in Peru at a site near the country's capital. More specifically, they found the preserved body underground in the middle of a town square at the archaeological site. What might be strange to some, though, was that this mummy was bound with ropes and its hands covered its face. Now, don't freak out. The mummy wasn't forcibly mummified. Rather, it's a Peruvian funeral custom. Another interesting part about this mummy was that it predates the Inca culture, which paints a different narrative on what came beforehand. Number 3. Aztec Altar Archaeologists in Mexico would uncover an altar that dated back to the 16th century, and the altar would be found within a courtyard that was within a home of an Aztec family. The altar was said to have been there to honor the family's dead, and there was a pot in the altar that contained human ashes. Ooh, spooky! The team behind the find studied it for three months before making their announcement, showing how much they wanted to learn about it before they unveiled it to the world at large. Apparently, the inhabitants of the house would have held a ritual to bear witness to the ending of a cycle of their lives and of their civilization at the altar. Well, that's not dramatic at all. Oh, and the altar? Well, it was about 13 feet below ground and covered in mud, making it very odd and yet very lucky that anyone found it at all. Number 2. Rare Roman Mosaic Picture this, you're on your farmland in Rutland, Britain, and you think there's something beneath the dirt. As you dig, you make a discovery of a Roman villa complex that contains a rare mosaic depicting Homer's The Iliad. Yes, that's specific, but it's thought to have been one of the most remarkable and significant finds of its kind in Britain, mainly because these kinds of mosaics aren't found all that often, let alone in the UK or even in Europe as a whole. The complex that the mosaic was in was thought to have been occupied by a wealthy individual from the late Roman period sometime between the 3rd and 4th century AD, which would explain why they would have had a dynamic mosaic such as this within their home. Number 1. Rembrandt 
Now, as you've just seen, art is still an important part of our world, but just as true is that certain artists and paintings stand above the rest. So when someone finds a surprise Rembrandt, well, most people take notice. But here's another twist. The only reason that it was found was because it fell off the wall at a home in Italy. A painting by Rembrandt was made in 1622 or thereabouts, and it was long considered to be lost. The painting in question was The Adoration of the Magi, or The Visit of the Three Wise Men to the Baby Jesus in His Crib. And that's all from the realm of discoveries that were made recently. Which of these items did you find most interesting or illuminating, and were you surprised by some of the finds that were only made in recent years? What else do you think is left to be discovered out there in the world? Be sure to let me know all about it in the comments section down below. Check out the other th cool things that are showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time. I love you.